I could title this video Vladimir Putin next door uh, this is gonna be my response to the Lindsey Graham's uh, comment in respect to best spent money uh, America ever had by uh, investing one in killing Russians and it's something a Russian side anticipated together with American side with a Ukrainian side with a Zelensky and he stopped I am gonna see myself in British wouldn't love nothing more than that with a message of my own first of all Vladimir Zelensky uh, who hosted Lindsey Graham in Kiev Lindsey Graham who was hosted in Russia Lindsey Graham who met with Vladimir Zelensky with a Vladimir Putin face to face here inside the house after they were engaged in a torture in Russia in respect to this video here in respect to this message here which I have labeled as a death threat as a direct threat direct death threat of Joe Biden first they tortured in Russia they tortured in Ukraine then they would all meet together inside of our house where I would also be present and inside of our house it was nothing like the stuff that went on in the Ukraine with always Lindsey Graham present whether it was Russia or Ukraine Lindsey Graham was an individual who never was absent from the torture this was always the man that would observe from the side whatever issues American government uh, wanted to connect to itself against me through the Russian Ukrainian uh, pertaining to the war in Ukraine 2022 war they always would use Lindsey Graham Lindsey Graham is a violent thug who was involved against me well yeah I can't say before 95 because the case started in 1990 but yeah since 1995 definitely so when you do that threaten me then I am gonna find the response of my own it's not even hard we have edges of course you have the edges not only of the Lindsey Graham is this was indirectly meant for me to see myself in but on every video I video record I almost point the house I live the village and everything I mean if you don't have the address of this place and you were here with so on so many occasions with a Putin with Lavrov Medvedev I don't know what to tell you now what exactly did she meant by this our guys and this and that as I stated at the beginning of this video I could title one as Vladimir Putin next door what she exactly meant I'm gonna post you this stuff below I'm gonna post you this 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 stuff below here I'm gonna post you this link so you can read about it uh, what I meant by Vladimir Putin next door uh, there is this individual here that lives next door who was involved in this stuff in MK Ultra since day one since 1990 became a police officer and became a person of Vladimir Putin is case manager for me this is one of the most trusted if not the most trusted individual in Slovenia by Vladimir Putin Vladimir Putin have chosen one to escort me 100% of the time whenever abductions took place from Slovenia to Moscow to be aboard on a plane he always escorted to Moscow and it's what Vladimir Putin 
told me on at least two, three occasions, if everything is going to be okay with me, if everything will be okay with me, that he deputized him, he would release me all the documents that would confirm existence of case MK Ultra. This guy only lives one house away from where I live at. They used to tell me, it used to be the time they would tell me, when you do the stuff like this, and then I have to do the stuff like that. They used to tell me that I am like a demon that comes through the internet. They open and smashes them straight in the face. I think it's worse. When you give me a death threat like this, make no mistake, I am going to knock on your door with the police. I am not taking death threats lightly. I have my way to respond when I get the death threats from Moscow, like this, considering that I have a Vladimir Putin the next door. Now I'm going to take my steps too. But this individual traveled exactly 100% of the time to Moscow from Slovenia. Whenever he would be plane that would take off from Slovenia, this individual would have been on a plane 100% of the time. He never missed a single flight a chance to meet a Putin. He was part of the personal bodyguard from Vladimir Putin whenever Putin was here. This is our house. I'm going to help you with the address again. I mean, I, I'm blatantly honest about it. I show these houses. And then I'm going to stop at yours. As I said, this video, I am going to title one as a Vladimir Putin next door. At least it was. This guy here, no? This this guy here, 100% of the time was in Moscow. It's a personal deputy of Vladimir Putin. And by the way, I don't appreciate something like this. I don't appreciate you tortured me in talking about Lindsey Graham together with Vladimir Zelensky. You tortured me together with Vladimir Putin. So you torture me in Ukraine and in Russia to obtain sickening confirmation on your gesture. Like, you know how he made himself, folks, talking about the Lindsey Graham here. You know how he made himself look during this uh, MK Ultra butchery. This shit goes, what they do is they don't allow you to sleep. They torture you. They take you from one place to another. One day, two day, three fucking day. You walk. You get here nasty surprise. You get there nasty surprise. And the killer is the lack of sleep. They pump you even with Viagra. They load you with a coffee and they make your organism to function and function and function because the goal is to also develop something else in it. So that it would look also as natural as much as possible. And then it starts to sicken you on an issue with the Russians. Which one do you like? Do you like the Ukrainian or do you like the Russian one? And by the way, Vladimir Zelensky used some nasty people. And it's interesting how Ukrainian and Russian governments at least saw themselves in one thing, basically in lynching me together, or I should say on behalf of the United States of America, which citizen I became in 2000, for the sake of the big British money, big German money, a treasure. 
And then what they do is they present you with like sick shit, like the best money. I, I can't do this, I can't do that, but it's one thing I can do. Um, I can say Zelensky, and they rehearse that in front of me in Kiev. And they want to, for me to be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The best spent money America ever spent was on killing Russians. And then what they do is they video record you with that shit. And they keep that uh, and throw that on the internet. What exactly happens if you don't see it? Well, um, according to them, nothing good. If you continue to do this stuff, nothing good. Uh, if you see it and you don't react to it, definitely bad. Because they assured me, if you, we know, we know. You see it. They know because you open the link. So they know exactly because, as I stated, this, this windows are modified. Everything is modified. So they get everything on table. They get everything served, everything I go through. They, they get everything, every link I open and so on. Yeah, so that's why certain things I don't actually do. Fuck it. I don't go where I don't need to go. I don't need to go in, to get into the stores that I don't need to get in. It's just too much information in here for me to open too many links. I did that shit in the past. I'm not doing it no more. And it's probably really that nothing good happens, right? And if you are uh, by the big brother, somehow even video recorded, and you're making some enough that you make crazy statements in front of your computer, for which they warned me it's going to have cameras inside and all kinds of stuff they're going to be recording you and so on, then most likely that nothing good happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the statement Lindsey Graham made in front of Vladimir Zelensky and Vladimir Zelensky's leadership is mentally ill, just like Lindsey Graham is. He is mentally ill on violence. This is a violence addict. This is a career criminal, basically, that is... I, I wrote something about the Trump and uh, Putin and so this is Joe Biden is, is Putin basically when it's pertaining to my case listen um, the freedom is something that you have to appreciate if you don't appreciate then why I mean, I told this already to Ukrainian people, actually to Montenegrin people. When they started to bite me into issue during MK Ultra, that I don't know if I'm not gonna marry to Montenegrin woman, then they're gonna go uh, with Serbia and stuff like this and this kind of issues. You know, I I, I told them I don't actually on, on the statement like this it was the same with the Belarus. I don't know. I don't even consider you as a country. I, I will never. I told them I'm never going to consider you as an independent country. It's important, folks, whatever you are, that you don't become victim of Ukraine. Ukraine is a country in decay since 1990. I don't know how this is going to come out. I don't know anything about how the final outcome of Ukraine-Russian war is going to be. I have no fucking idea. But don't become a casualty of something like this. Because the healthy mind, the logic, doesn't work like this. Of course, you have to defend your national integrity with absolutely everything you have. And hopefully, for God's sakes, you do have what it takes to defend yourself from genocide. Because it's what it is in Ukraine. No, it's really not a war. It definitely is a special kind of special operation that's taking place. Don't take Ukraine as an example of any kind. As for Ukraine, if, if you don't like it, if you don't want it, just make sure that people like myself are not going to get fucked because of you. Like, you fucked me, you destroyed my life. You ruined, you whacked my life. 
my life went to bits because of you. I lost 33 years of life on fucking shit like you. I don't owe you anything. But you used me for espionage throughout Ukraine for 33 fucking years. You used me. You used me even for what Joe Biden claimed is going to be posts you're going to make. I'm going to the posts that are going to give either ability for us to get weapons or not. Even that that's not true. Even that was agreement between the Russians, Americans and others. Because they wanted to put me on a front line and fuck me up at all of the costs. They instigated on all sorts of increment, self-incrementing statements I would make. So I would put my life at stake. I don't need to make any fucking statements. I don't care what you do in Ukraine. If you have one or you don't have one. This is your own subject. If you're a Ukrainian, this is your matter. What your president have done, however, Vladimir Zelensky, is an act of betrayal. It's a treason. It's a treachery. Because exposing to possibility of being murdered anyone that supported Ukraine like I did is actually a treachery. It's a grand treason, actually. So, when you're going to need my address, watch this movie over again, and you're going to see exactly where I live at. Now, Simon implied something about the people that live, that they are patriotic and pro-Russian and so on. That's why I call this video Vladimir Putin next door. She was. At least he was. Don't know stuff like this. When you start to death threaten me, then I'll start to pull all kinds of shit on you. I'm going to give you a really hard time. We are in this shit because of you. We are in this shit because you owed a lot of fucking money. A lot of fucking money. And rather than to compensate, rather than to pay what you owe, or at least stop, when I asked you to stop, I filed for political asylum in more than a dozen countries so that I could go away, leave it all behind, and say fuck it and start my own life. You have used the opportunity to throw me behind bars of mental psychiatric institution which you, United States of America, by the way, started to build against me. Psychiatric case is what I'm talking about, not institution, in 1990. And I'm not English native speaker for fucking Biden's sake. I am from Slovenia. I am native of Slovenia. Fuck you. 